Today I would like to share uh, our experience uh, with Fusion Compiler and uh, we have taken a couple of blocks uh, to experiment with uh, Fusion Compiler uh, to see how we can uh, deploy that. Now uh, one of the block is uh, ARM core and the other block is actually a automotive chip and uh, I think I'm in between them in the presentation as well. <laughs> so. Uh, We'll be sharing about, uh, we'll have an uh, overview of what are the key care abouts uh, we, we uh, have to look at and what are the design challenges and uh, fusion compiler in action and uh, deployment experience and overall summary. A quick uh, a kind of marketing slide. So uh, we have uh, our uh, semiconductor divisions overall in our 10 uh, units uh, overall uh, in the globe. globe. And uh, this is our new uh, SSIR office, uh, which is located in Bengaluru. And uh, this is one of the biggest uh, R&D center. Uh, and uh, this has a lot of uh, semiconductor BUs in it. A quick snapshot of uh, history is like 2003, our uh, journey started in uh, Bengaluru. And uh, in uh, multiple years, a uh, lot of BUs got added into a semiconductor unit. And we at uh, 2017, uh, we could hit uh, uh, close to 1,000 employees. And uh, 2019, we started growing much faster. And we could hit uh, 2,000 employees. And we are still growing. In uh, SSIR, we can broadly classify uh, uh, our BUs into three. One is the memory division. Uh, we have a system LSI. And uh, we have foundry device, uh, design services. And I belong to uh, Foundry Design Services. Uh, memory division deals with all types of memories and system LSI. They deal with the all same uh, types of SOCs, which get into the Samsung products. And uh, we deal like a bridge between uh, the Samsung Foundry and the customers. So we deal with uh, multiple customers uh, like mobile, automotive, consumer, and uh, uh, more. For the key care, uh, care abouts, uh, these are, I think, uh, pretty common uh, things which we uh, work for our bread and butter. And these are like uh, care abouts for us also, wherein PPI is very important, and uh, time to results are very important, and ease of use. So we just need a tool which will be able to uh, give us best QR. With, since we handle different customers, it will be multiple uh, experiments we'll have to do to get a very very good flow. Now, ease of use is where uh, we really have to get a very good tool flow. Now, we'll go uh, into uh, specifics of uh, these three key, uh, key care abouts. Uh, one is the PPA. So we have uh, chosen uh, ARM Core, uh, high performance ARM Core design for our experimentation with Fusion Compiler. And I'll be taking uh, uh, through the results what we got. And uh, for ease of view, I just labeled it as in one. For uh, time to results, uh, when we are working with uh, uh, big SOC designs like automotive uh, uh, or uh, a very uh, channeled design, uh, we want to actually uh, run it faster and see how we can achieve the SOC timelines. So that is where uh, time to results come in. And uh, we have taken an automotive design for this. And uh, I have labeled it as 2A as one of the challenge where I'll be sharing what are our results with this. And ease of use, uh, out of box, as I told, uh, we have multiple customers. So we need to get an out of box QR. Uh, we should not be struggling with the different kind of flows we have and uh, get a best, best QR. And handling uh, new DFT challenges. So. The same automotive design, uh, since it was automotive design, we had to implement uh, Excel based into that. And uh, that was a new challenge for us. Uh, how do we integrate that flow? And uh, I'll be sharing more details on that too. Coming to the first design, uh, this is uh, ARM CPU. And uh, as a goal, uh, this will be a high performance uh, CPU. Uh, we need to meet the performance and uh, with the smallest area. When it comes to the existing flows, uh, what are the key challenges we have? 
one is uh, higher utilization blocks so when we run uh, arm cpu we tend to uh, squeeze in the area as much as possible and due to that we get, uh, get into a density issues now getting into density issues uh, will cause a lot of issues like eye drop the final closure will be tough with the hold and uh, the correlation also between the pre route and post route is kind of unpredictable and uh, multiple flow modifications are required uh, to achieve the target frequency. This, I think, uh, for uh, ARM code design, this is a common thing. And uh, as uh, Harun uh, also explained, the CCD flow uh, is uh, very tricky. Once you enable CCD, you, are, you might get into an issue of setup hold critical paths, which will uh, trouble us in the final closure path. So uh, this... Uh, Towards the left, this is the existing flow where we have a front-end design and back-end design. In the front-end, we do the uh, synthesis, we do a DFT insertion, and then take it to an incremental opt and give it to the PNR person. And in the back-end, uh, we have uh, uh, the PNR flow. Uh, so with the Fusion compiler, uh, we integrate everything from the compile ultra to the place opt into a single step. And uh, that is where uh, we see uh, a, good a good amount of runtime improvement. And uh, uh, whatever results we see at place opt, we are able to see uh, with the compiled fusion step. So in our flow, uh, when we were experimenting, uh, we have integrated a CCD uh, at, uh, synth before the synthesis. And we have integrated the DFT. That is, the DFT is inserted at the RTL stage itself. And we use the multi-bit banking uh, options also. And one good part uh, in Fusion Compiler with multi-bit uh, banking is that uh, we don't need to define the mapping information like we used to do in uh, either DC Next or DC. Uh, it uh, internally takes the library information and uh, does the multi-bit banking by itself. That's one good part here. And uh, CC opt also we enabled uh, CCD. Route opt we enabled the uh, InDesign star RC. And uh, ECO is the PT ECO Fusion flow. Now with this, uh, we have taken uh, through the flow and uh, these are our observations. So one uh, key thing wa we have, what we have observed was the density map. So, so this uh, design has, so both are with the same uh, input data. Now uh, one design has a very good uh, density map, uh, whereas uh, the DC and uh, I, uh, DC next and ICC2 uh, flow where uh, we saw a lot of density hotspots. So this was, uh, uh, this is not uh, good for us to take it forward. We were trying to experiment, but uh, once we uh, did a default run with the Fusion compiler, I think we got a very good uh, density spread, other than few hotspots here and there. Uh, that should be okay. Now with this, uh, our uh, design closure paths uh, was much better with this. So uh, coming to this, uh, so I, I don't know if everybody is able to see this. So with the existing flow, we had seen, uh, because of the density being packed here, uh, tool was not buffering some of the nets, so which was actually coming in the critical path. Uh, but with the proper density, I think uh, Fusion Compiler, it was able to uh, buffer the path very evenly, and uh, we were out of the critical path. So th with uh, Fusion Compiler, this is our experience uh, on ARM code design, where uh, we could achieve 8% uh, frequency gain and 5% uh, area gain in the standard cell area. And uh, turnaround time was like 23% we could gain. Now we'll go to the second uh, design. The second design uh, we chose was uh, ARM, uh, uh, the automotive design where uh, we had a lot of uh, master-slave configuration of IPs. For example, these are the IPs, and it was a more channel-dominated design, and we had a lot of pipeline register placement also to be done, and it was a 2.2 million uh, gate count, uh, uh, instance count design. The key goal was to get a, thr a faster throughput, uh, and then it was a high-performance uh, high design also, so we had to meet the frequency. Now, key challenges was uh, mainly because of the channel-dominated design, and uh, we had to do multiple iterations. The module placement has to be proper so that uh, you get a better QR and congestion. Uh, 
the DFT related congestion. So once we started, uh, uh, since this is automotive design, once we started using uh, or uh, integrating the Excel based into the design, uh, we started getting into a lot of congestion issues and challenges. So I'll share uh, more details uh, in the further slides on that. And it was, uh, uh, the design was almost like running uh, about four to five days, uh, which was also a big concern. Yeah, so uh, in the existing flow, uh, we uh, initially started without any bounds and uh, we ended up seeing that the air, uh, so in this diagram we have uh, uh, yellow and red modules. These are the modules, not the congestion map. So uh, these modules, they got placed at the center of the channel and ideally uh, I would expect them to be, so these interact very close to the memory, top memory. And I would expect these to be placed very close to this memory rather than getting spread in the channel. Now, uh, what helped us in uh, getting that uh, to a closer to this memory? One thing in the flow, uh, earlier what we used to do was we used to add all the uh, latency settings and the uh, clock balancing settings, everything we were doing uh, after the placement was done. Now, we uh, slightly moved that to a uh, synthesis. So, uh, before synthesis, we did the uh, uh, clock balancing uh, points uh, uh, given to that. Now, because of that, uh, tool started seeing these paths as critical and it started moving them up to the memory. And with this, we were able to actually uh, get a very good QR number. And the congestion also has improved. Coming to the uh, second problem statement, uh, so once we were done with that uh, congestion issue, uh, then we had to insert uh, Excel based into the design. Now, uh, traditional way we uh, we follow is uh, we get a netlist and then do all the scan insertion, then uh, uh, do the place uh, do the uh, incremental opt and then take it to a placer. Uh, now, since uh, we get the new logic after we have an initial netlist tool finds it very difficult to place this new logic and it starts giving us more uh, congestion uh, density issues. Now we have integrated uh, the Excel waste uh, into the flow at RTL level. Uh, in fact, it took us a lot of iterations to get this uh, flow stabilized. It was not an easy task uh, to do that. Uh, but once we did that, one. Uh, uh, the placer now is aware of the Excel based logic and it can easily uh, do the placement. So, so this is a snapshot where uh, we had uh, we uh, with the existing flow where we had seen a lot of congestion because of the placement. Now, this is where uh, we see again with the Fusion compiler. Now, Fusion compiler was able to place all the Excel based logic in a proper manner so that we won't get any congestion after we do the scan stitching. So the main uh, uh, gain of uh, uh, the Fusion compiler with this design we see was uh, 2x improvement in the runtime. So this is very big uh, uh, runtime gain wherein we could close, uh, like we could run it faster in two days and uh, check the results and go back and do iterations very fast. So our uh, deployment experience, uh, overall uh, we see very good uh, correlation across the flow and uh, integration with the sign of timing also is uh, much quicker now. The faster uh, flow uh, has enabled uh, us for a better optimization and uh, we do see uh, uh, CTS runtime has uh, in, is kind of uh, in work in progress. We see it has to improve a bit. And uh, uh, for DFT insertion, uh, though we have uh, uh, though the flow is very much uh, stable now, we see at the synthesis level, the synthesis uh, uh, is able to do a DFT insertion. That is very good. And the placer also is working very fine with that. We still uh, have, I, I think, uh, simplification of the uh, DFT flow has to is kind of desirable uh, from Synopsys. Overall summary, uh, we were able to achieve 8% uh, uh, frequency gain, then 5% uh, area gain, and 2x runtime improvement. 
and it's a very simple uh, migration because all the settings, whatever we have in ICC2, we were able to easily migrate it to uh, Fusion Compiler. And uh, thank you to, thanks to Synopsys uh, support team uh, with whom we were able to achieve this with a faster pace. Thank you.